alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Hart. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. CP3 at point with Reddick there at the backboard. And it's Barnes in at the three spot. Now here's Paul. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Chris Paul is really a basketball junkie. He's not playing the game. He watches all the games. He has a wall of TVs in his home so he can follow multiple games at once. That is fanaticism. And he actually could be preparing for a job in the studio someday. It's interesting, Chris Paul possessing great quickness, and yet his natural inclination is not to push the pace. He tends to prefer to operate in the half court, running the pick and roll. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. We talk about Paul's preference to play in the half. Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan Clark tend to flourish in the open floor. And to me, Kevin, it's really about finding that balance, the right balance. But a good sign for the Clippers has been Blake's development as a half-court offensive weapon. He's shooting it better facing the basket. He's shooting it better with his back to the basket. And he's making his free throws at a higher rate. So that lends itself to being a little more effective in the half-court. Good observation. Here's LeBron. It's on target from the high post. You know, that's one way he can finish, but not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Griffin is green on Irving. The try by Paul. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. You know, the height difference there is huge, but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. He got to the hoop and wouldn't allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. On defense, the Clippers. Here's Love. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Love's got his first two points. Great-looking bounce pass to set up that play. Irving can't get it to go. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Well, you often think of the Clippers as being an updated version of Showtime. They know how to grind out and get a win, too. Yeah, I thought they were a little better defensively. They have guys that will certainly give you highlight reel material. But they're smart in how they attack teams and how they finish games, too. Here now, the Clippers. Riven sets the screen for Paul. Mozgov with the block. Three on three. Oh. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains oh. possession. Oh. The Clippers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Griffin is green on Irving. Paul with the ball. Now guarded by Shumpert. Paul can't get that one to fall. <laughs> Great communication on the alley -oop. Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. Now here's Reddick. He's coming off a 10-point game against... Kicks it out to Paul. Jordan sets the pick for Paul. Second chance shot. The shot is off. So Cleveland will take it the other way. 
Love is known for how explosive he can be on offense, but he still gets knocked on for his defensive prowess or lack thereof. He seems to be tiring of it, though, and has put in a lot of work. I think he's gotten better. And it's Paul oh. penetrating. Now here's Reddick. Defense right on him. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. I remember last season when Tyson Chandler had remarks about Love's defense and Love just brushed it off. It's something he's heard before and has followed him even in his rise to the highest Love. ranks of the NBA. And I think it's been a bit of an overhyped and overstated problem for him. Quit, I mean, Make him quit. he does so much more on the court than people think. I don't think he'll ever be an NBA All-Star defender, but Aww. he's more than capable of holding his own at that end of the floor. That drops. And the layup just gift wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Anderson Verishaus checked in for Mozgov. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. Smith checked in for Shumper. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Irving. Cleveland moving it around. From deep, James. Barnes with it. He's picked up by James. Stolen by Thompson. He lobs it up. And J.R. Smith with the slam. Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both ends. Yes, Very nicely done there. Yeah, absolutely. They made the steal pay dividends instantly in the open floor. Now here's Paul. 26 points for him last game again. And he was disruptive defensively, too. Yeah, but really aggressively trying to make plays. In fact, he had four steals during that game. For the finish. No one and the quit. jam by J.R. Smith. No one quit. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Reddick with the three. You're a bum. I'm quitting. You're quitting. Go ahead and quit. And the first quarter is in the books. Second. About ready to get underway. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And they're getting out in transition, too, finding some easy points on the fast break. One on you, please. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for Cleveland. Thompson and Verja at the four and five. J.R. Smith out there with Matthew Delavid over. And it's LeBron in the small forward. Pick by Griffin. Reddick with it. Now defended by Verja. Offensive rebound. Pass to Barnes. Reddick with the three. Ball outside. Tries yet again. Paul missing again. Make him quit. Make him quit. Make him quit. Anderson Barry Jowie. He quit. He quit. He quit. He quit. He quit. Quality defensive center. Great rebounder. Moves yeah, his feet well. Plays with a ton team. of energy. And he's one of those irritants. He gets under a lot of guys' skin. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, thanks, Kevin. Matt Barnes out of UCLA, of course, an energy and effort player. He brings toughness and a defensive mindset. And he said, I always look forward to guarding the best player. My thing is to stay into them and make them uncomfortable with pressure. You want to make them work hard and not allow them to get anything easy. Kevin, back to you. A versatile defender and much improved as a shooter over the years, Doris. Thanks. The Cavaliers leading by three. And Verjao coming in to the lead primarily as a defensive energy guy, but 
He's expanded his offensive skill set and has made great improvement as a passer. Yeah, you shot a brick, bitch. Let's go. I'm pausing. From his rookie season to now, he's more than doubled his rate of assists. Here's Shepard. Oh. Jordan with the block. That's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. Los Angeles on D. Trailing by five. And he's cooking. He's cooking. We cooking. He gets it to go. And very Zhao, a good decision maker, Steve, yeah, for a center. A mistake. two to one assist to turnover oh, ratio last year. And he had a terrific season as a two point jump shooter. You know, able to spread the defense out a little bit and operate from the high post. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. And some of these distributors have been very hot from beyond the arc this season. The best. Oh, oh, down that time. Oh, about a Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in. Aren't they have to build up a lead? And here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. You know, even though he doesn't really have the long range ability uh, on a consistent level, he can knock down some open ones. Looking at the Cavaliers over the last 10 and how they compare to the rest of the league, this is what we've got. First in rebounding, eighth in scoring, and they're in the top third in the league in blocks. They're a team that really doesn't give many good looks. Then probably what impresses me the most, Clark, uh, out of all those stats you're talking about is the rebounds per game because this is a team that has become very physical. Uh, they'll put a body on you and they'll really dominate the paint if you don't stand up to the task and really attack them back. And it's Love missing. Clippers trail by six. On the wing, Jamal Crawford. Covered by Smith. Crawford kicks to Turkaloo. And Irving comes to help. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Rivers. Not enough on that one as it misses. Well, he's wide open there, but uh, really struggles from that range. Maybe there's a reason he's open. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. Hustle play on the putback by him. Timofey Moskov, seven foot one, a shot blocker and rebounder. Still pretty foul prone defensively, but he has really become an interior presence. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Irving with a clean look. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. It was a slow start for him, but he started to take Great. off since we hit the second okay. quarter, guys. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Agreed, Clark. They've poured in three of the last five baskets on pretty open looks behind the arc. And that one's good. And it's six points for Smith. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Great. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Not sure if they're aware of the two for one opportunity they have. Well, they need to be. And here's Love from the arc. Clippers trail by eight. Deep two from Crawford. And it's the Clippers scoring again. Spencer Hawes. Man, he has been their unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. Irving dishes to Smith. Irving with a clean look. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. There, guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. Shumpert against Crawford. Oh, a three. No good on that last second oh, attempt there. Yeah, just quit, man. I'm calling the game just quit. Quit already, bum.